So at this ASH meeting, we are reporting four-year follow-up data for our trial with the Brutin Plus Venetoclax in CLL. So this was a trial done at MD Anderson, started back in 2016, and we endured 120 patients at MD Anderson who were treatment-naive CLL, who needed treatment for their CLL, meeting IW treatment criteria. We also selected patients who had high risk for genomics, including 17P deletion, P53 mutation, deletion 11Q, or unmutated V gene. Patients received three cycles of ibrutinib, and then they received started venetoclax at that time. And then the both ibrutinib and venetoclax were continued for a total of about two years. And those patients who are MRD positive in the bone marrow at the two-year mark could continue an extra year of ibrutinib plus venetoclax. So during this trial, we did serial bone marrow analysis and assessed for MRD in the bone marrow by flow cytometry with a sensitivity of 10 to the power minus four. And as a best response, uh, overall, among 120 patients, it was 72% bone marrow MRD negative remission. So it's a high rate of remission achieved with the use of two oral drugs without any chemotherapy and without any antibody treatment. And more importantly, what we showed is that the responses were durable. So at two-year mark, patients stops the therapy. And after that, we had very few patients whose disease has relapsed. In fact, the five-year four-year progression-free survival was upwards of 90% uh, for these patients. And then when we looked at, can we predict which patient is going to respond, which patient is going to relapse, and we looked at the traditional prognostic marker, again, 17P, P3 mutation, uh, fish analysis, uh, age of the patient, and other markers, none of the markers were prognostic. So uh, everyone seemed to respond equally well to this target therapy combination.